Look, I'm in a precarious position right here. I need you to do well. Are well, you going to... Your fillet knife is in between my legs. Oh, my gosh. Houston, move the knife. <laughs> <laughs> here, bring him. Here. Oh, let's holy Houston. crap. Golly, that's a big fish. Bite, no. <laughs> holy. I hope we hook another one of them bad boys. I got him, David. We won't get the more. What is that? Oh, it's a bull red. Is it really? Give me that net. All right, fellas, who wants to go first? Me! I called it first. Okay, no, paper, rock, scissors, zero. Paper, three, rock, one. scissors? I thought it was rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Whatever. We do it different in Florida, okay. Houston. Paper, <laughs> rock, scissors, shoot. Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. Yeah, well, no, it's, what are you doing? Oh, he did win. Houston lost fair and square, two right, out of three. Get down here, yeah. Kobe. So, what's up, guys? We are back with another video. Before we started, go down there, subscribe. Ring the notification bell and like this video. Today we're gonna be out in Pensacola Beach, Florida for our vacation. And Captain Ron thought that he should take us out sorry, to the boat. What did you say? I, that's that's Admiral Ron to you, sir. Uh, Admiral. No, we we changed it. It's El Capitan. Oh, El, El, Capitan. Yeah, El Capitan. El Capitan. El Capitan. My bad. El Capitan. So right now we're trying to catch our bait fish, and then we're gonna go fishing. We're going to catch fish. some bridge monsters. Yeah. You guys, you and Jacoby are on the boat. You guys are the creek monster champions. Yeah. No. For like five yeah. years undefeated creek monster champions. I'm really not sure what that means, but we make creek monster videos. I'm so, just to see how they handle the bridge monster. So right now we're looking for some bait, and I think it's a, they call it a saltwater bluegill or something, right? Pretty much. And then we're going to catch a bridge monster if Jacoby can catch us some bait. Yeah, he's, I've never seen anybody take this long to catch bait. This is like well, listen. No, he was doing a favor because Richie didn't have a fishing license, yeah, so Jacoby was waiting until Richie was ready to go. Yeah, I mean, he, he was trying to be legal. Richie has a fishing license now. Thanks, Florida FWC app for not working, by the way. Yeah, 100% the app was down, guys. You got to do better. You got to do better. <laughs> I'm trying to make us tourist money. I could, I had him checked in for a lifetime fishing license, and the app wouldn't work. Now he's stuck on a three day. <laughs> That's right. So we are still in Pensacola with cameraman Ron um, on his little Mako boat. And the bay looks pretty rough out there when we come across the bridge. So we may do some, some fishing back here in the bayous and stuff. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to find something find something to catch. Ron swears he can catch a bridge monster any day of the week. No questions asked. We come out here. It's easy, said, done. No big deal. No. 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 You know how he lies to you guys about me being a charter captain? He's lying to you about that, too. I, Ron never said that. We're going to try to catch some fish today. Okay, El Capitan. Nice jacked up mullet. Houston didn't fix his hair this morning. I'm going to get in trouble. Kobe's got a fish. I told you, man. It's just, Golly, it's, it's a saltwater bluegill. It's literally a saltwater bluegill. That's essentially all you got. Right Thanks for turning your back to me. Hang on. <laughs> wait, wait. This is Kobe's first you time. You need to come back here because I'm about ready to teach Kobe a valuable life, life lesson here. All right. So listen, me and you, you're built smaller than me, but you're going to get there, I promise. This is a fine technique that you'll never learn again. It's called giving the fish the belly. You lay him right up against your belly like that right there, it calms them down instantly, and you can take them off the hook. Yeah, I don't think they're going to like it. Why? They like it you so much. Really? Yeah, the in the you last... You lick the fish and you don't want to give one the belly? Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> That's, that's weird. That's weird. That's weird. weird. That, that's weird. You not think licking a fish. You didn't think licking. Hey, I tell you what I do. I got some crabs back here. If you let one of them pinch your finger, I'll give you ten dollars. Oh, you got. Like how big? I, they're pretty big. Wait, how many dollars? <laughs> <laughs> that's not Kobe. That's not even be a question. It could take your finger off. Oh. Okay. Said I don't care. That's yeah. So uh, the other day, Kobe. Uh, what was the deal with licking the fish? What? Why'd you yell from the cheap seats? Lick it! Well, yeah, that's what I thought you said. <laughs> Jimmy Houston. Uh, you, you meant kiss it, right? Like, you I wanted guess. him to kiss the fish? <laughs> I think Kobe just got confused, but it was funny. Because we're just talking about it. It's just hey, out of hey, nowhere. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, oh, yeah, the bay boat. Well, no, look at his trolling motor. Oh, you better be careful. And if he, he might be getting bait, because I'll run around with mine down sometime, too. You got a fish. You have a they're, they're they're little bitty fish. What are you what are you waiting for? I didn't you don't have to fight him like a shark. Just lift him in the boat. 
Houston's trying to play it cool this morning. You want to give me the belly? You ain't got much of a belly. I ain't got a belly. I do. Houston gonna put him on Houston, the washboard. Watch your rod. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you that? doing, bro? Did you hear me, Ron? Uh -huh. Houston said he gonna put him on the washboard. Um, there you go. I like it. All right, Richie, your turn. <laughs> oh, I'm good. <laughs> you you're good. Come on, Richie. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to catch a catfish. No. Oh. oh. About Dang, that, he done said the right, C hey, word. Let's, let's let Richie. You can't even speak that, Richie. What are you doing? <laughs> catfish King is back. Wait, how is he the Catfish King? Because he ruined oh, our. Remember last, last year? year we were just oh, catching yeah. fish after fish after fish, and then Richie caught a catfish and it just shut off. We were done. Here. Fight him, Richie. Oh, oh. oh you catfish, Richie. All right. <laughs> Listen, if, if Richie reels in a fish, everybody cheer, okay? We're going to... At home, yeah. Yeah, everybody at home cheer for We're Richie. We're going to psych him up. <laughs> yeah. He's still a little distraught over having to, you know, go off through all that with his license. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Richie almost had to stay on the dock. Yeah. Like what? Oh, Houston fix to go swimming. Come on, Richie. Reel him in. You got him. Oh, you got a fish? Oh, my Richie my. managed to catch the smallest pinfish of the day. Perfect bait, yeah. though. They all can't be monsters. That's a that right there in the the language is what we call a bull pinfish. <laughs> <laughs> They're there because I just caught them on the big black what? Big black drum. Big big black drum. BBDs. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm... Ron, why didn't you take us on your new boat? I'm, they're still uh, they're still cleaning everything up, getting the marine mat installed on it. We'll be running out of that probably in the next you know 20, 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. So there's legendary monsters that live under the bridge, there, right? There really are at this one. Like uh, this is the spot for people to come and catch black drum in our area. Is this if you're targeting black drum? This is it. Is this like when we take Houston magnet fishing and oh my gosh we can't believe we caught a scooter no these you got these bridge monsters tied I, up under I there i don't have them on the line already yeah i wish i did but i do not have them on the line yet what i've got 11. Just put your just put your finger right in there wait is he like 10 bucks he's man alive. he's 100 percent alive he's, he's just, just very docile right now because he's very cold he's real cool but you he could definitely still like pinch you and can it, he do it fast i don't know if he could do it fast or not but i would not suggest putting my finger in there if i was you no, don't do it. Hit one side, the crush side, the other side. The you can eat side. these. You know that, right? Yeah. So that's that. what I was going to say. Uh, most people would be upset with you for that. That goes on the plate, not bait. Yeah. And I mean, I actually fixed these in a video for Sarah and she loved them. Um, but they make excellent bait for black drums. This is what they feed on. They feed on the smaller ones, but we're going to cut this dude in half um, and only use half of them. So but this is this is creme de la creme for the black drums out here. Oh, let me try that to you. No. <laughs> So everybody asks this on my channel. I don't know if they will or not on yours, but when you hook up a blue crab, all you're gonna do is go through that knuckle on the bottom where you took that big claw off. And anytime you're hooking a crustacean, you just barely want to pierce the, the shell. You don't want to push it all the way through. Like that right there, that tip is just barely out. Did you learn that on YouTube? Just, I did, I did. Okay, I, wasn't, I didn't figure they taught that in like Look, uh, your charter captain school. Everything I learned, I learned on YouTube. Any the famous words of stale cracker? That's money, dude. <laughs> so after a long 30-second uh, boat ride at idle speed, we've made it to our destination here. <laughs> and uh, black drum's the target species, but the boys are going to fish for some shrimp around these pilings here under the bridge and see what they can catch. Really? Honestly, I don't care what they catch. I don't think they care what they catch as long as it's a fish. Yeah, yeah it's, so that's the cool thing about when people, we talk about this all the time on our channel, when people come here from Oklahoma, you catch a saltwater fish, it's cool, it doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> now, if we can hook one of these big black drums and get in the boat, that's a whole other level, but anything they catch, they're going to have a good time catching. you got to slow down saying the big black drum, the big black drum, like it's just really... You want me to call it a big nasty? I don't know, it just, better? I don't know, but it, really honestly, we came out here years ago, DJ and I and a couple friends, and uh we we bought a fishing trip. It was what first got us coming to Pensacola. It was like a two-day fishing trip. We bought at a benefit fundraiser, and the guy 
good friend of ours now, but he really wasn't a charter captain. He was just a good old boy with a boat that donated a trip. And uh, we came out and fished, and we caught so many fish, but we were catching, like, remoras. And we caught a few catfish, and we we were catching trash fish, and we just thought it was the greatest thing in the world. And he was like, hey, he said, would you mind not posting those on Facebook? He said, if my buddies find out that I took people out fishing and they see these pictures, I'm never going to hear the end of it. Oh, man. <laughs> we thought we were catching awesome fish. And he's like, uh, those are trash fish. But you could take the remora and stick it to your leg and you'd hang on like it does on the side of a shark. Yeah, we thought that was cool. Like, I hate the word trash fish just because of, because of that. I mean, it's like for us, yeah, you can't eat it. But, man, they're so much fun to catch. Yeah. Like, just like on the when we were on the beach that day, caught that ladyfish. Yeah. There's not a better fun fish oh, to they're catch fun than ladyfish. Catch. You can't eat them, but, man, yeah. they're a good time to catch. So we're here for a good time. We're not here for a long time. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Pinfish in there, but there's bigger fish in there too. Is that all you got, Kobe? Not much line on that pole, I guess. We only cast it like three feet out. Kobe's still creek fishing. <laughs> Works. <laughs> I tell you what I'll do. You'll let him lick it for you, right? Yeah, you can either lick the fish or eat something. Oh, he almost bit me. That was close. <laughs> that was close. There's a reason they call him uh, Snapper. Jake Wallen. Yeah. Jake Wallen. Oh, that's his name. A A Ron. A A Ron. A A Ron and Jake Wallen. I cannot get this fish unhooked. What is happening? Ron, you need to get that hook out for you. No, I definitely need a pair I'm of pliers. Start though. Just a little a. A. bitty Ron. hook. Yeah, I got your, your favorite you gonna, pliers. Why are you going to give me the Eugene pliers? It's all jacked up. I mean, this is the kind of equipment we got to work with around no, here. I've got two pair of brand new pliers back there, and you grab the bad ones. It's an interesting necklace you've got there, Captain. So I'm trying this out because I got real tired of wearing a man bra. So this is the first trip out of this, but we're going to see what it looks like. I don't know, but it looks better than a man bra. I mean... I think I could put that on a goat, though. You could definitely hang this on a goat. You'd lose it. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be the first GoPro you've ever lost to a goat, but, I mean, you could definitely use this on a goat. Yeah. The chickens. There's a lot of animals this would go on, actually, now that I think about it. Phoebe Cam. Phoebe Cam. Phoebe Cam, Cam right you there. Know how, your audience would go crazy over a Phoebe, Phoebe Cam. Phoebe Cam. Yes. You definitely. It's super shallow over there, but there's definitely fish. Yeah, it is. Sheephead. Yeah. Yeah. Reel him all the way up to the end of the rod again. That's not a sheep's head. That's well, a puppy, that's a puppy drum. Listen, that's where we come from, that looks like all the rest of the sheep head we see on TV, it, huh, Houston? It does, yeah. but the only reason you can tell is because it's got that bottom feeder mouth. And when they're young like that, they really do look just like a sheep's head. But that actually is a very small black drum. That's what we're fishing for the bigger versions of. There you go. Here. Do you want a picture with it or you want me to throw him back? You don't need no picture of no little fish, do you? That's a pretty cool catch, though. Richie, do you want a picture with the fish? Yeah, I'm fixing the fish on my own. He said it was a puppy fish. <laughs> a puppy fish. <laughs> it's a cute little puppy, right? Cute puppy. little puppy. All right, buddy. See ya. All right, El Capitan said it's time to make a move because the legendary bridge really monsters <clears throat> are nothing but puppy fish and we tiny got, little mangroves. The bridge monster was just in his early phases. He hadn't transitioned yet. He hasn't transitioned. He's, he likes about three years. Yeah, he's a, he's a few years away from being ready. Yeah, we really do want to try to get out into the bay and fish the big bridge. This is just kind of what we're doing until the, the wind lays down a little bit because we are in kind of a small boat. I mean... Houston said it was big boat. He said it was bigger than he remembers. No. Yeah. Well, we're going to try it. We're going to brave out into the deep. Yeah, I think, I think Maybe. we'll be fine. If we can. Oh no! Uh, no! Jinx is 
is off me now. <laughs> no, don't bring him in the boat. Hold him on the side. Hold him on the side. Let you guys get him off. Ron, don't want that catfish in his boat. I'll get him for you. In my stomach. You don't want to do that. You sure you can fight this? <laughs> Probably not on the top deck. Yeah, get down there. Ready? You gotta stand up. You wanna fight him? Daniel, do you want him? Here, I'll take it. Do it. Half and half. Half on the front deck, half on the chair. No wonder Ron always makes a video saying I got snagged. <laughs> Look, I'm in a precarious position right here. I need you to do well. Are well, you gonna. Too, your fillet knife is in between my legs. Oh my gosh. Houston, move the knife. <laughs> here, bring him. Here, 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 here. Do this. Do you this. got a rod. Yeah, do this. Here, Houston, take that. Go over top of me. There we go. Richie. Houston said, Abba, 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 Abba. That's okay. That's okay. Just let it be. No, just let it be. I'll get it in a minute. Richie, I'm going to need that net back there. No. <laughs> Richie tried to hand me the little white no, Richie. <laughs> You got the bait net. Here, you, can you film for a minute? I'm gonna help him land this. Yeah. That's yeah. Both of those, pulling both of them out. Hey, can I get the netter? Like, uh. Um, it's gonna be heavy. Like you think you can get it in? I'll try. I'm gonna be like Peach Bump. So, right there. Jacoby, take that rod. We say anything yet? Not yet. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. It's like a red fish, but I can just barely see color. Hang on, he's, he's not ready. No, Hang on. no, it's a black drum. Black drum. Oh, Holy crap. Golly, that's a big fish. <laughs> no. Holy. I hope we hook another one of them bad boys. No way. I can that is that. huge. Holy crap. Wow. Here, yeah. You're fine. It's, I'm not worried about it for me. Fish. That thing is way bigger than I thought. There you go, buddy. Woo. I thought a black drum was only going to be like this big. Woo. Well, you thought wrong. Woo. Now it's time to fall out of the boat. Grab him by the lip and hold him up. <laughs> All right, Houston, hand me those orange fish crepes right there, buddy. Wow. Look at the size of that snaking thing. I'm going to raise it. It's right in the corner of his mouth. I'm going to raise it. I can barely stand up on the boat as it is, right? Hold him out real far so he looks better. I don't think you need to hold him out real far, buddy. No, you may be good. Huh? <laughs> All right. What do you want to do with it? You want to do a little more video? If you want to sashimi? No, sashimi? No. I don't, I don't know that sashimi would be good. You want to release him? Keep him. Keep him. Oh, we can't keep him. He's oh, over strong. Yeah. Him. How much do you think he weighs? Um, 120-ish. About that 15, 14, 7. He weighs, that's something wrong with that. That fish weighs more than 15 pounds. That's what I thought, too. I promise you that. His head weighs more than 14 yeah, pounds. Yeah, that scale might not be big enough to handle him. Cause, but, be yeah, because... Yeah, because... All right. You want to release him, or you yeah, want me to do it? All right. Move his tail back up. Wake up. Here he goes. There she goes. Come on, girl. Big go. Yeah, there she goes. Alright. Awesome. Beautiful release. <laughs> Beautiful job. Heck yeah, man. He's not leaving me hanging. Hey. Yeah, he was just leaving me. I was hanging. a little slimy. Hey, man. That's, Thank you, man. Hey, absolutely. That's why we're here right there. Yeah. I, Let's I mean, go get another one. I know. That's, that's <laughs> a fight. I was I was trying to hand the pole to Houston, and I think he, like, saw maybe a look on my face, and he stepped up there, and then he went back down. He's like, oh, I don't know about this. Hang on. We might need to rethink our options right now. But, uh, 
Houston you, was talking big game until he saw that big rod. Yeah. Pulled it over. <laughs> when that rod went down, <laughs> it's a, it's a whole other ball game when you see that. But man, that's that's why I come here. Like yeah, the, the yeah. bridge monsters are just you cannot beat fighting those. No, fish. that's that's stinking awesome. So right amazing, so amazing. Yeah, let's get another one. So we're back out. There were two rods up there. I, I distinctly remember when I was trying to catch a fish, there was a second rod. Yeah, there was, and we took that rod and we put it in that you, rod you holder. You put it in the rod holder. Yeah. Rod, uh, Ron, that's a that's a cup holder. No, you see the little broken piece? That was a rod holder. Right there? Yeah. It's in the water now with the rod still in it. So the GoFundMe link for Ron's new yeah, fishing new, rod. Yeah, new fishing rod. <laughs> I, I told Daniel that's the cost of doing business. I'm okay with that. I've, I've only lost two at the bridge, so that's not a bad deal. And that one, you know, the first one it was because I had it laying in the boat. That was my fault. That was just a little bit of a failure. The rod holder broke. It's going to happen sometimes. Let's go get a new one and roll on. Richie's up to bat. Because, uh, well, I think Kobe said he could reel one in, but I, I just, I'm just not sure he's got enough lead in his pencil to muscle one in. What do you think? You think you can? Yeah. And I'm fighting Richie. Don't Richie. let him whoop you. Richie's Come on got now. Got a kitty cat. Richie's got a kitty cat. Nah, that's not a kitty cat. Oh, you better stand up. Because huh. if you don't, he's going to get you in that trolling motor up there. And then you're going to have a bad day. Oh, oh, oh go. Watch Richie, out. Watch go out. to the front of the boat. Go to the front of the boat. You really do have something a little bit better. You need to get up to the front so you can go under that trolling motor if you need to. Get your sea legs. You can fight him from right there. Watch out for that other line. This better not be some like little rat fish, Richie. Hey, I, uh, this is one of his bull, one of his bull mangroves. Bull mangroves, baby. I'm telling you, it's gonna I, be a, it's gonna be a kitty cat. Not, not, not the way it's fighting. It's not. You know how saltwater catfish fight? Yeah. I caught yeah. One. Well, he caught one last he didn't year. Catch one last yeah, year. yeah. You better be careful with that trolling motor. Seriously, force that fish on up there. I got him, David. If you want to get the water. What is that? Oh. <laughs> Is it really? Give me that net. It's big. Here, hold that. I got you. What's the shrimp? You got to net him head first there, Danny. Yeah. Daniel. Why did I just call you Danny? I don't care. Everybody at the house is calling me Dan because of Brooks. That is a nice redfish, Richie. Is that your biggest saltwater fish ever? Yeah, hey, oh, by far. Uh, Get his head to Daniel. Uh, Don't let him go, Richie. Get his head up out of the water. Your main goal is to get his head out of the water. Like yeah, right there. Now, Daniel. Me, though. I don't want to unhook him for uh, you. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Oh, dang dang it. Richie! Oh, hey, we saw him! Dang oh, it! Dang. He was out of the water too. I'm so disappointed. That hurts my feelings. <laughs> Richie. Hey, we could have caught that. Why didn't you get that? That was your moment. In? Off a of shrimp. That was your moment. That was your I chance. My bait rod. That's not a bait rod. That's a ninja dagger. I'm trying to make it like I was. I have landed. Did you see him downplaying that? Don't downplay that. That's a seven foot go to ninja dagger. I've caught some beasts on that exact same rod. I was fixing to catch a beast. You were close, Richie. So close. Yeah. Hey, he came out of the water, too. I know right where I had that line, too, and I know right where I'm throwing it back. <laughs> No, the knot did not fail. That broke. Uh huh. That broke. We're going to have to come in for a close bro, inspection bro, here. Bro, the knot's still there. Like, with the knot's still on the line. The knot can't fail and still have a knot. It's not how it works. So, El Capitan didn't have a strong enough leader for you, Richie. No, I'm fishing uh, for big bull or bridge monsters on those rods. It's not my fault Richie's back here doing it on light tackle, we'll trying to make it hard on himself. That was fun. It is fun. That, that was, it's that way was funner fun. to fight them. On. I, I'm disappointed it wasn't in. I'm glad we brought it up and seen what it was. But that was that was fun. <laughs> that was a good fight. That was a good fight. I didn't see you trying to take the rod away from him. He, you oh, didn't I hear him up bad. here. He was instructing me. I don't feel good. You don't feel good? Well, I think we're going to take it back on into the dock. Houston's not feeling real good. And uh, Captain Ron here, our Capitan, oh, has Captain. ran out of blue crabs. So we're... Well, we had some other bait. We had the pinfish for bait, but 
the blue crabs are what those those big drum the big black drum were smacking and let's see we actually had we lost we cast it out the, as soon as we got here lost one he just cut us off put another bait on we uh what we do he exactly. he just cut he just got the bait and then one got picked apart and we caught one plus richie's monster redfish big probably the biggest fish he's ever had on a rod ever oh for sure and houston's not feeling real great it's about getting closer to lunchtime so we're going to head back into the dock but i have a feeling we'll be back to this bridge i just have a feeling you gonna swim no <laughs> oh oh no. el capitan to the rescue el capitan like let's go, let's go. <laughs> caught a monster fish today out there at the bridge yeah caught a bunch of other small fish we didn't get them all on video but any day on the water down here in pensacola is a good day i feel like uh, we try to try to keep houston in closer away from the big waves he gets a little seasick on us even with some dramamine but uh he made it out there and toughed it out for as long as we could to catch us a big fish huh? yeah. all right i think houston prefers his feet on solid ground when he fishes a lot better than a moving boat, huh? Eh. You don't mind it when it's calm. Yeah, I don't mind it. Put him out there on choppy water and he's like, blah, blah, blah. Reminds him of that time we went with Cole and Jay on a Arkansas trail ride, oh, car ride don't. for three hours, don't huh? Don't start me with that. Right there, they're right there, about five foot out there. Oh, that's a good one. Look at you, catching fish at the dock. <laughs> Here, you better let me get that off for you. That snapper will get you. Jacoby is the spot. If he sees you leave your spot, load back up. He's getting on it. There you go. Catch and release. Catch and release video. <laughs> Here's some little mangrove snapper he's catching at the dock. He'd have been just as happy if we'd have just brought the bait here and sat on the dock, huh? Yeah. I wanted to do that but. well guys there you have it made it back to the house huge i just want to give a huge huge thank you to ron el capitan captain ron himself pensacola's premier charter guide without a phone number without a website none of that stuff um no he's not a charter captain but he is a great friend and he's always so good to us when we come down here takes us out on the water lets us hang out on the boat do all the stuff and uh guys go check out his channel if you don't mind give him a like give him a follow give him a subscribe do all the things cameraman ron it's really not captain ron cameraman ron find him on youtube facebook all the places where the cool kids hang out you'll find him there so anyways guys that's all i've got for today thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it you guys have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video maybe in pensacola maybe in oklahoma <laughs>